A young man was sitting at the end of the city park. There was no one else around. He sat there for a while shaking his head. He got up and started walking around, this time not just shaking his head, but swinging his arms in all directions. He had made some very terrible mistakes, and they all seemed to be piling upon him at one time. He kept thinking, if only I had not done such a stupid thing, if only I had not listened to the advice from my friend. Even though he had good intentions, he was wrong. If only I had another chance. Have you ever played the If Only game? I cannot imagine anyone not playing the If Only game. But what makes this even worse, that some will allow the regrets of the past to dominate their thinking today. And they keep doing that until they destroy their happiness. And not only their happiness, but they could destroy even their health. I have seen people who have done this to the extent that they feel like they're trapped in a deep hole with no way out. They feel like one big failure. They just want to give up. Now that's a dangerous and sad place to be. When you notice people having attitudes like this, you know that the fear of failure is coming in. The regrets, the letdowns, the disappointments, things like this in the past opens the door to fear, and fear is a tormenting emotion. The pain of all this will eventually cause a person to completely give up. Why risk going through all that hurt? Then the person begins to see himself as a complete failure. Now I want to introduce you to a word that God often uses in the Bible. It's the word blessed. Blessed means happy, fulfilled, highly favored, and even the idea of being congratulated. Listen to this. Blessed is a state that is based upon God's forgiveness of you and your acceptance of His acceptance of you. Listen to this from Psalms chapter 32. Blessed is he whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord does not count against him. Now you may be thinking, will God really forgive me of the things in the past that I've done wrong and put me in that blessed state? That's right. I just read to you God's word and he says he'll do it and God doesn't lie. Now what I want to do, I want to give you three principles, three things that you can do in your life to help you to overcome the fear of failure. First, get God involved in your life. He will forgive you and put you in that blessed state, highly favored to be congratulated. He did not create you to be a failure. He will give you a new set of values, another way of looking at life. Now that's not just positive thinking, that's spiritual thinking. God will give you the ability to see things from His perspective. That's what we call a transformed mind. Point number two, find something you really like to do. You say, what if I find this and it's not really what I want to do? That's okay. You're still not a failure. God is still with you and God is going to continue to show you how to see things from His perspective. Just because you're doing something that you don't really like really doesn't make you a failure. But i tell you what you can do. You can get you some good hobbies or find some good things to do in the spare time. And you'll be surprised how those things can fill in the gaps to make a good, rewarding life until you find something that you really want to do. Finally, find someone who is a success at what they're doing and get with them. People who are successful love to take on someone who wants to follow them in their steps. Companies are interested in hiring people that are eager to learn. They will teach you what they want you to learn about their company. The question is, are you willing to learn? Quit thinking like a failure. And don't listen to people who put you down. And don't focus on circumstances that are not good. You're not a failure. Quit thinking that way. Let God give you a new outlook on life. I hope I've been able to help you today. 
And I hope you find something that you really like to do. And I just hope that God would just bless you in everything that you do. God bless you. Thank you.